Hey guys, new leaks are coming for the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 XL. The Pixel 6 could carry the ultra wide band or ultra large band. This technology present on the latest iPhones and the S21 Plus and S21 Ultra makes it possible to locate a smartphone or a connected object with great precision. Apple's brand new offering, the AirTag, is also heavily based on the UWB. According to the documents given by 9to5Google, Google is currently experimenting with the integration of ultra wideband technology into its smartphones ultra wideband could land on the pixel 6 and the pixel 6 xl michal rahman editor in chief of xda developers shared in a post on twitter that google is testing support for the ultra wideband api of android 12 on raven which is one of the code names that could suggest the next generation of pixel devices the support for uwb could mean that google could also be working on its own version of a device locator, just like the AirTags. With AirTags, Apple has added one more feature-rich device in its ecosystem. And it seems, nowadays every smartphone manufacturer wants to create its own ecosystem. So Google could also be working towards creating its own ecosystem, as a few days ago, we saw leaks about Google Pixel Watch. Google is working on its own chipset, which is GS101 White Chapel. Google has its own Pixel Buds, so all of it hints the that Google also wants its users to become a part of this growing Google ecosystem. Google CEO had already hinted that IO 2021 would be very interesting in terms of announcements. We'll get hints about a lot of new stuff that Google is working on. It is very likely that the Pixel 6 will make its official appearance in the last days of September or at the beginning of the following month. A leaked internal document revealed that the two future products codenamed Revan and Orion are closely related. It could be the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 XL. So both of these smartphones are actually coming really soon. The Pixel 6 will feature a center hole punch display panel. It will be powered by its own Whitechapel chipset. Google is developing this chip with the help of Samsung's system large-scale integration division. It will be based on Samsung's 5 nanometer fabrication process. Now don't get too excited. I mean Google's new chip will bring some new features and improvements with it, but it will not be more powerful than Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or Apple's A14 Bionic. It will not even match the performance of these two chips. And honestly, Google's not even trying to beat these chips. But that doesn't mean you will get bad performance out of this chip. These devices will be powerful and feature rich. So guys, what are your thoughts about the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 XL? Let me know in comments down below. Follow me on Twitter at TechXTRJ. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.